Hello guys, welcome back to another Death Frontier 2 video. My name is Jimmy Shreds and today I'm going to be showing you how to fight this new uh, Lunar Event Dragons Surge of the Serpents uh, event that we have. I'm going to leave down in the description uh, my socials, my Twitch wrestling Death Frontier 2 and some other games. So let's get it. I'm going to show you first my full stats and some other things. Uh, what I want to explain and it's very important that I've seen devs mention that the, the currently those dragons or worms however you want to call it are uh, body damage so if you are going for like rifles or pistols and you're heavily focused on headshot you're gonna have a very hard time fighting them uh, i'm using tombstone currently so you want to be using some automatic weapons like uh, auto shotguns or like shotguns or smgs or uh, assault rifles and you want to build body damage on those uh, the stats, as you can see, I have very high body damage. These are stats. You can pause so you can see these stats. I'm going to mention some very important stuff. Okay. So, as you can see, I have uh, 60, minus 68 incoming damage. I highly advise you have at least minus 50 incoming damage because these dragons have aura damage and they scream. So, you'll get hit like from quite far away. So, if you do not have at least 15 incoming damage, you're going to be taking a lot of damage and you'll die very fast after taking a few hits. And get as much as HP as possible. I have currently 219 in total. When it comes to movement speed, like mobility stats, I don't know about the jog, but for sprint, you should not have below 85 sprint speed. As you can see, I have a 72 sprint speed and 12... Uh, 12 uh, movement speed which is in total 84 so when i'll pop the energy drink i'll have uh, 17 plus 72 which will be 89 so i'll be above 85 the sprint duration definitely as high as possible i have 103 i don't know i probably you can probably you can pull it off with 70 or 80 sprint duration but it's gonna be very hard uh, for the sprint cooldown, I would not go. I would not be going below seventy sprint cooldown and get dodge cooldown as high as possible. That's very important as well, as you wanna be you wanna be dodging if there is no objects. Now I'm gonna show you how to fight them. I'm gonna pop the uh, drink. So we have in total now, as I said, uh, seventeen movement speed plus seventy two sprint speed, which is eighty nine sprint speed. Now I'm gonna show you how to fight them and. What you want to do is you want to stick to the objects. Now we are fighting in the outskirts, which is, in my opinion, uh, the hardest place to fight them. It's only one. There we go. Uh, in the city, it's much easier because when you have cars and uh, so many objects. So when they go towards you, I'll show you and I'll, I'll, I'll say exactly what I need to do. Okay, let's see. Where is it? There he is. So when he's coming towards you, you see that you want to stick around the objects. Like Do it like that. You see that he has to go around. That's what you want to do. Okay. Do it again. Have in mind, I'm not going for insanely fast kill speed here. I'm just trying to show you how it works. Alright, see that again. Go around the trees. He has to make a full circle again. And keep doing it. If he, if you do not have any objects, you can just dodge like this. There you go. And keep repeating the process. it again here it's just like literally going in circles like these big rocks if you can find them that's awesome like just going around them is the best the bigger the object the better look at that that's awesome i'm not big fan of this play style but that's the only way to do it otherwise you cannot really and there you go, we killed it. 